Friends, we have been discussing about the stiffness method of structural analysis applicable to two dimensional members orthogonal, non orthogonal, beam elements and truss elements. We extend that same logic to understand the response behavior of finding n reactions and displacements of 3D structural members, space frames and space truss members using the transformation matrix and the transformation procedures. However, in certain situation we may also encounter structural members with varying cross section with non uniform moment of inertia etcetera we can call them as special elements. Now, special elements are treated by different techniques by different authors in various textbooks, but I would take you in a different path we would also treat the special elements in the same style as we have been treating the conventional beam elements or truss elements. So, how do we handle them? So, this lecture 29 is going to discuss about the formation of stiffness matrix for special elements. Let us take for example, I have an element with one end fixed and other end hinged. So, for my standard beam element my standard beam element has both ends fixed we have also discussed in the beginning of this module how to handle special elements with varying moment of inertia and cross section but here the support conditions are different so, what we are going to do is we are going to convert this special member to a conventional member with the procedure what we have followed so far. Interestingly my problem now becomes a fixed beam with hinge introduced whose length modus of elasticity moment of inertia and area of cross section or uniform, but I would call this as unrestrained degrees of freedom remaining all or restrained degrees of freedom. So, I am following the same logic as we did for the beam element and marking the degrees of freedom as we have been doing for a conventional beam element. So, I have got the j n k end of the member. So, now the beam has got one unrestrained degree which is theta 1 and phi restrained degrees which is theta 2 onwards till delta 6. So, therefore, this analysis will be conventionally dealt in the same style as we have been doing for a beam element. We know for a beam element the stiffness matrix can be written as 6 by 6 with degrees of freedom as you see here which is going to be 1 rotation and the j th n k at the end vertical displacement j at the end k at the end axial deformation j at the end k at the end ok. This is rotation this is delta v this is delta h and this is for j at the end this is for k at the end and so on. Similarly, So, we all know we remember this derivation from the first lecture this is simply 4 e i by l this is 2 e i by l 
this is 6 e i by l square, this is minus 6 e i by l square and these two are 0. Similarly, this is 4 e i by l, 2 e i by l, 6 e i by l square minus 6 e i by l square and again 0. This will be 6 e i by l square, 6 e i by l square, 12 e i by l cube minus 12 e i by l cube and 0. This will be minus 6 e i by l square minus 6 e i by l square minus 12 e i by l cube and 12 e i by l cube again 0. These elements of the stiffness matrix are 0 whereas, this is a e by l minus a e by l minus a e by l and a e by l. This is a standard stiffness matrix for a fixed beam which we already have with us, but applying this to this problem one of the degrees of freedom is unrestrained. So, let me partition this. Okay. I have partitioned at 1. Now, I can say this matrix is equivalent to a stiffness matrix which is partitioned causing a sub matrix. So, this is unrestrained degree, this restrained degree similarly unrestrained and restrained. So, this becomes k unrestrained row unrestrained column, this becomes k unrestrained row restrained column this becomes k restrained row unrestrained column and this becomes k restrained row restrained column all are individually sub matrices. Okay. So, I am going to pick up these matrix separately and write down in the next slide. So, for example, k u u will be equal to 4 a by l okay, and so on. So, k u u is going to be 4 e i by l. So, I can always find k u u inverse as l by 4 e i. Okay. I also need k r r, k u u is actually 1 by 1, k r r is this matrix which is 5 by 5 this matrix. Okay let us enter that. Four e i by l, six e i by l square, minus six e i by l square, and so on. Okay, so four e i by l. Six e i by l square. Minus six e i by l square. Zero zero. Similarly, the next column will be starting from six e i by l square. 12 e i by l cube minus 12 e i by l cube 0 0. Next column is minus 6 e i by l square minus 12 e i by l cube 12 e i by l cube 0 0. Next column is about 3 zeros and a e by l. So, I have simply plugged out the k r r matrix from the k matrix which is 5 by 5 matrix. Okay. I also now require k r u, k r u is this matrix which I am looking to look at this column which is actually this vector. Okay. Which is 5 by 1, let us pick up that vector, which is 2 e i by l, 6 e i by l square, minus 6 e i by l square, 
0 and 0 which is phi by 1 ok. Let us also have k u r k u r is unrestrained row restrained column which is going to be this particular matrix ok this matrix which I am writing here two E i by L six E i by L square minus six E i by L square zero and zero which is going to be one row into five columns. Okay. Now I have K U U K U U inverse K R R K R U and K U R. Okay, I have all of them. These are all sub matrices which I have estimated and evaluated from the original stiffness matrix which is available here. Correct? It is a standard procedure. We are not doing any derivation new, we already derive this matrix for a simple fixed beam. What I have done is I have considered this as my unrestrained degree of freedom in the whole derivation, that is all I have done. Okay? So, I have partitioned the matrix and got these sub matrices. Once I get this, I want to now know what is my k matrix of the special element. Okay, that is the botheration. k matrix special element can be easily given by k r r minus k r u k u u inverse and k u r. You can see here r r r u and u u and u and r and r I will get k r. Look at the size k r r is phi by phi k r u is phi by 1 this is 1 by 1 and this is 1 by phi I get again phi by phi. Okay? So, let us do this. So, I have all these matrices with me let us substitute in this equation 1 and try to find k or the special element. So, let us first do this operation k r u into k u inverse. So, k r u into k u u inverse let us do that k r u yes. 2 e i by L 6 e i by L square minus 6 e i by L square 0 0 which is actually 5 by 1. K u inverse is L by 4 e i which already we have with us ok is 1 by 1. So, now I will get a vector when I multiply these two which will be 5 by 1. Okay. So, which is going to be 0 0.5, 1.5 L minus 1.5 L 0 0. The next step is I want to multiply this answer with k u r. I multiply this with k u r, where k u r actually is the size of 1 by 5. So, I will ultimately get phi by phi. So, let us do that. So, this is going to be 0 0.5 1.5 L minus 1.5 L 0 0 multiplied by 1 by phi which is k u r which is 2 e i by L 6 e i by L square minus 6 e i by L square 0 0. So, this is phi by 1 this is 1 by phi I will ultimately get a phi by phi matrix let us find out this first then we will do the other one which is going to be. So, this value is going to be e i by L 3 e i by L square 
minus 3 e i by l square 0 0 3 e i by l square 9 e i by l square minus this l cube minus 9 e i by l cube 0 0 minus 3 e i by l square minus 9 e i by l cube 9 e i by l cube 0 0 and this will be all zeros. Okay. Now, my k special element is actually equal to k r r minus this product which is this value. So, let us write down that. So, k special element is going to be k r r minus this matrix. Okay. So, k r r is 4 e i by l 6 e i by l square minus 6 e i by l square 0 0 6 e i by l square 12 e i by l cube minus 12 e i by l cube 0 0 minus 6 e i by l square minus 12 e i by l cube 12 e i by l cube 0 0 these elements are 0 whereas, this is a e by l minus a e by l minus a e by l and a e by l. I subtract from this, this value which I am writing here as e i by l 3 e i by l square minus 3 e i by l square 0 0. 3 e i by l square 9 e i by l cube minus 9 e i by l cube 0 0 minus 3 i by l square minus 9 e i by l cube 9 e i by l cube 0 0 and these are zeros as you see. Now, the result is going to be the matrix which we want which I write here. So, k special element is actually 3 i by l 3 i by l square minus 3 i by l square 0 0. 3 i by l square 3 i by l cube minus 3 i by l cube 0 0 minus 3 i by l square minus 3 i by l cube plus 3 i by l cube 0 0 and these elements are 0 whereas, this is a e by l minus a e by l minus a e by l a e by l. So, that is my phi by phi matrix which now resembles a beam of this type. Where it has got the degrees of freedom which are restrained like this. So, let us mark 1 is absent. So, I will call this as 1, okay. this as 2, this as 3, this as 4 and this as 5. I mark the labels here. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Which is my special element. 
So, friends please understand I can always use a modification in the stiffness method to derive the stiffness matrix of any element of my choice with varied boundary conditions or support conditions given in the problem. So, that is very interesting we are using the same procedure we are using the same procedure as developed for a conventional beam element to derive stiffness matrix of a special element the method is very simple partition the matrix of the conventional beam element and derive the stiffness matrix of the special element following the same procedure as we have discussed. So, stiffness method of structural analysis is highly versatile and I should say very easy and computer aided and not problem specific it is highly a generic method ok. I believe that you have enjoyed the lectures on module 1. We will now do one more lecture on explaining how this special element can be solved using the conventional stiffness method procedure and also give you the computer program for that. So, that that completes the entire discussion on module 1. So, friends we will have left with only one more lecture on module 1 where I am going to solve an example problem using special element for given beam element. Thank you very much and bye.